Hey guys, well it is the, what is today, 21st it says, oh yeah, it's my sister's birthday, um, I guess I'll just say it, uh, it's been hell, um, you know, with my dad dying and everything, it's been, it's been very difficult, I haven't been able to really record myself because, Tears were flowing, and they still are yet. What I don't, you know, he was my dad, okay? I, I, I know that. I get that. But we fought. Man, did we fight. We, you know, every day with him was a challenge. Um, and if you guys have been avid viewers... You all probably realize that, you know, I've been, I had a very difficult time trying to communicate with my father. And, um, he was, you know, and I don't want to talk badly of him because he's gone. But I will say that he wasn't the nicest man, nicest husband to my mother either. And... So where these tears are coming from, I'm not quite sure. I think it's the void that has been created. You know, I, I'm not... I don't know. I've been very emotional. I'm literally right on the verge of crying right now, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm keeping it together. I'm going to try at least. So, yeah, I don't know where these these emotions are coming from. I mean, we had a good r relationship when I was a kid. We did everything together. But then I surpassed his intellectual level, I think. And I just saw, I couldn't help but see the ignorance that was, was coming up, you know, this sounds mean. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, yesterday I was in my dad's garage and I was actually taking pictures to sell a snowmobile. And I, you guys know that I have no problem getting rid of stuff. You know, it's like, don't need it, don't want it, throw it up on Craigslist. Bye bye. Well, yesterday I'm working on the, or I'm taking pictures and, um, I'm just starting to type the ad on Craigslist, right? And then the dam breaks, you know? And I just bleh, puke frickin' tears and snot and everything. And it was, it was a long, um, it, it was very emotional. And I was reflecting back on that, like, right, you know, why would I feel this way? And I remember, <laughs> I remember me and him going out and finding a snowmobile. Actually, we were looking for a car for Amanda. And uh, we saw the snowmobile beside the car. And I was like, Dad, you know, this is a really pretty nice sled. And it was probably, oh, man. I don't remember what year it was, but it was a few years ago now. Because me and Amanda have been together eight years, and this is like two years after um, Amanda wrecked her car, and we had to go out and find another one. Anyway, so I'm looking at this car, and or the snowmobile, and Dad looks at it, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's an Arty Cat Jag. He goes, he's like, I've always wanted one of those. And... <laughs> Yeah, he just happened to have some money in his pocket, which is a rarity because both my mom and dad were not financially well off. And the guy wanted, I think he wanted 400 for it. And so, yeah, he bought it. And I drove it. He didn't do anything with it. He, he drove it around a few times, um, took it to Fenwood and back on the trails, but he never really... You know, had fun with it. And that's... Um, 
That's one thing I can say about my dad is he was he was generous. He um bought me my first three wheeler, which was a Honda one ten. <laughs> it was uh hmm. It's coming. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but it's we were at an auction. I was twelve years old. And um I <laughs> I kept climbing around this three wheeler and dad was standing off just talking to people, whatever. And I'd see him every now and then look over and point at it. And I was <laughs> I was having fun. And dad was just like, I walk over to him and he's like, You want that? And I said, yeah, Dad, you know, I would love it. I would love to have that. I've always wanted one. And uh, he didn't confirm that he was going to buy it or anything. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, okay. We just kept walking. I was like, I'll never get that, you know. I'm not even going to ask for it. Being 12, I knew this, you know. I was like, there's no point in asking because we can't afford it. Um... But that was back in the days when my dad I was working at warehouse or make like twenty five dollars an hour, <clears throat> and that was in well I'm two I'm f almost forty now, and so I was twelve then so it was probably I don't know it was years ago anyway so the long and the short of it is we're watching the auction continue, and they came up to the three wheeler. And this one guy bids. And then all of a sudden, something came from over by me. I didn't see it because you know, I'm a short little, short little guy. And, and he, uh, he was bidding. And he won the bid. And it was pretty crazy because I didn't know who won. I didn't know who bought it. And Dad's like... You know, pats me on the shoulder. He's like, it's yours. This is... Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be emotional like this. So, anyway. You know, I got my first three wheeler. And I kicked ass on it for five years at least. And then he bought me my next three wheeler. You know. So, my dad was pretty cool. I think just towards the end, he, uh, he's got old, you know, senile, I wouldn't say senile, just more rooted in his ways and, um, less willing to accept, you know, compromise and, uh, different, different angles of an idea and, that was the thing is, with me and him, we always had different ideas to fix something. And um, I'm stubborn, thanks dad, <laughs> and he's stubborn. And um, so we'd butt heads a lot. And I'd have, like, my, the way my mind works is that I would uh, have a quick and easy solution. I, I would take all the shortcuts possible whereas he would be meticulous and find everything that needed to be fixed and fix it and I'm, I guess long short of it is I'm lazy and he's not <laughs> so you know there's that but um yeah it's nice to talk about him you guys are my uh are my shrink I feel a little bit better actually. I was working on his slideshow, which I'll share when I'm done with it because I still got to get.
can't. Oh God, I gotta get it. Got a lot of pictures. Right now, I've only got about 30, and my brother says he's got a lot. My sister says she's got a lot. My aunt says she's got a lot. And my mom says she's got a lot. You know, oh my God. And then there's my dad's old war buddy, and um, well, I wouldn't say war army buddy. He didn't. He didn't fight in the war. He was actually stationed in Alaska during the um, Vietnamese War. Anyway, so there's that guy who's got a lot of pictures too. So the memorial, because that got um, uh, cremated, um, is next Monday, uh, March 28th. So I've got to get all these pictures combined into the slideshow, probably at least by Saturday. And I still, and I know that this sounds selfish, but I'm, I want to go and see freaking Superman vs. Batman badly. And I want to put off, yeah, I need, I need this, I need to <clears throat> escape from what, what's been happening. It's been really hard, okay? If any of you, and I know a lot of you, have lost a parent, you know that an escape, uh, you know, to get away from reality for two and a half hours can make a big difference, so, um, that's one other thing I wanted to say, and, or I wanted to bring up is thank you for all the support, you guys have been amazing, and, uh, a lot of you have been overwhelmingly just awesome and I'm very very grateful and my mom is very grateful speaking of my mom and this is not a plead for money but it is kind of a little bit of a whimper for help uh, Kenny uh, my buddy who uh, hunts with me and everything we try to make videos together whenever we can. Um, has started a GoFundMe, and uh, I'll just be honest. My dad didn't hardly have life insurance. My mom is only getting a little bit back, and a little bit means under ten thousand. And a lot of you know, the expense of a funeral or even a memorial is exceedingly expensive. Um. They were both on Social Security, and they had their pensions. But now, I mean, they had to work. My dad had to drive Amish to make money, extra money, because everything else they had would go into bills. And that's neither here nor there. You know, bills happen. Um, so with dad being gone... I guess the way it works is his pension and Social Security. I think she'll still get full, full Social Security, but I think only his pension will get cut in half. And so that's really going to limit my mom's income, and she really could use help on finances, um, whatever. So if you guys are feeling generous, each one of you donate, you know, $2.00. We would really, really appreciate it. And it's not going to me. It is going to my mother. And, um, you know, come on, guys. I mean, she needs it. She's been through a lot. I mean, she found my dead dad on the floor. My, my dad dead on the floor. And I think that's had a lasting impression on her. Because, well, I got a story to tell you guys after that. But, so, uh, yeah, I... I I know I do this every now and then. I ask for money. I have this big story, but guys, this is not for me. So, click the link down below. Help my mom out, please. Okay? Real quick, I'm going to tell you what happened here. Um, my mom found my dad on the floor, as you guys, mostly, as most of you already know. And um, she was giving chest. Well, actually, she went to go down 911. And she, I don't know what happened or how it even happened, but she ended up hitting a speed dial that um, dialed one of the Amish guys. 
Uh, yeah, they have phones. But um, dialed one of the Amish guys, and uh, obviously he didn't answer and went to voicemail. She didn't know she did it, and she's right in the middle of giving my dad chest compressions and screaming and yelling for him to wake up. And so this Amish guy heard everything. And so when my mom, because me and my mom were actually going in to the funeral home to make plans, and she was on the phone with him when he told her that. Oh, my God. Can you imagine getting a voicemail like that? I mean, wow, that is rough. You know, and then we found out that he, um, I guess all that day he was having problems talking. Like, what he was, he wasn't, like, he couldn't vocalize. He was, like, whispering everything. So, we didn't know that. And, um... We don't know, we still don't know how he died. You know, I, I wish there was, it would, it would be closure to me and to my mom because we're still wondering, you know, what happened and did, how much, how long did he suffer? Because, I tell you guys, that's, that weighs heavily on our mind. We don't know how he died. All we know is that maybe, he had cardiac arrest, or maybe he had a blood clot in his lung. That's all we got. It's all freaking maybes. It's all up in the air. I guess no matter what, though, it doesn't change anything. It's still, my dad is still gone. <sighs> yeah. I'm not going to milk this. I'm not going to continue on with these videos. I'm just talking because I'm having a hard time and I want you guys to know what is happening what's going on uh, it's just been it's been tough but anyway I am uh, gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna toss this video up online this is all that this vlog is gonna be cause I guess I just don't have the ambition to really go out there and film right now. Or, I don't know. It's gonna. I would like to film the funeral because there's gonna be a military send off and everything. I don't know how my family is gonna feel about that. We'll see. So, don't forget, guys, click the link. Help my mom. And thank you for all your support.